Hi everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today I'm going to do a really quick video. I'm just going to show you guys a picture and I'm going to talk about it and you'll just see as we go. Alrighty, so here is the picture. If you don't know what this animal is, this is a manatee. And manatees are typically found around in Florida, but anyways, doesn't matter. So a few things I like about this picture. First of all, is that you can see the manatee is um, huge. They are an average of 10 feet in length and 1200 pounds. So if you take a pretty tall Christmas tree and make it weigh as much as six baby elephants, then that would be as heavy as a manatee and as big as one. So just yeah, imagine a really heavy Christmas tree. And also what's kind of cool is that um, manatees are related to elephants, but I digress. So this picture, you can see that little scuba diver over in the corner. Just look at the sheer size of this manatee compared to him. It's, it's pretty incredible. And what else I really like about this picture is you can see that the manatee, its nose is up by the top of the water and its tail way down there is almost at the bottom of the floor. So what this picture shows us is that manatees live in more shallow waters. They tend to not really go into deeper waters. They don't need to. They feed on seagrass and seagrass, which um, I don't know if that's all seagrass on there, but uh, manatees eat seagrass and seagrass grows obviously on the ground of the ocean. And so it can't grow unless it gets a lot of sunlight. And so manatees will be over in these seagrass buffets because that's what they eat to survive. And those seagrass buffets only grow in shallow waters. So manatees are in shallow waters. And this kind of poses a threat to them. And I will get into that later, but Another good thing about this picture that I really like is you see all the kind of mucky stuff on the manatee's back. Well, that actually some fish that live in the same environment as the manatees, they'll pick on that and they can eat it. So manatees provide good things for their environment by providing that sort of food for other animals. And then they also maintain healthy grass bed ecosystems and um, yeah, so what else? Um, okay, so I think the last thing that I wanna say about this picture goes back to the little scuba diver that you see in the corner. So manatees are a big tourism attraction. So people will go to Florida because that's one of their grounds that they frequent very often and it can be reliable during times of the year that you'll see them. They will go to Florida during the times that manatees are there just so that they can do things like this one with them or just watch them from the shore because if the waters are so shallow then you won't miss one of these animals. But um, I said earlier too that I would go back to uh, posing a threat being in shallow waters and that just goes back to, you know, the fact that and manatees, what comes to mind is Florida in particular. So when they're all there, there's a whole bunch of them. Um, boats will kind of come in and out for shipment. And boats are really big. They, you know, can't really see everything that's going on in the water. And so what used to be a really big problem that now we're kind of making some progress towards and having signs up saying that, you know, watch for manatees or um, boat people are getting trained to notice the uh, tail movements on the water ripples kind of for manatees so that they know that they're present because manatees, since they're so big and the water is so shallow, they don't really have a lot of room to move around and they're very slow. So if a boat is coming, they won't be able to move out of the way fast enough and that can be pretty fatal. So that's something that's not so great about their environment and just, you know, the situation they happen to be in. But we are making progress and we are doing good things and trying to help them out. Manatees used to be endangered and they have been lifted to being threatened, which still isn't great, but it just goes to show that, you know, the power of people. <laughs> we have control over the situation and we can provide, make minimal changes to 
just give these animals a better chance at life and be able to see them for years and years to come. Because look at this guy, they're so peaceful. They're so big. They're so awesome. They're like really big animals and I just want to hug them, but they're, oh, they're awesome. And I hope you guys like them too. I hope you like this video and thank you for joining me.